this video is for those of you who are struggling with the local network connection, saw my last video and thought I should use direct connection, but then realized I've got an Apple device and I screen share using Wi-Fi. The question I got most was, how do I screen share my Apple device with a USB cable similar to those using the Samsung and the Samsung Flow method? Today, we're going to jump into it. I found a free app online. I've tested it with my iPhone, and we're going to test it live in this video, and it works great. I'm hoping it will work great for you. Okay, so visor.io. I'll put the link in the description. I looked long and hard for this. I wanted something we could USB screen mirror to the PC that didn't have an annual subscription cost that we could either purchase outright or that the free version accommodated to us and visor.io does that i'll show you quick on the pricing side of thing two dollars and fifty cents a month ten dollars a year or you can buy it outright for 40 bucks the other ones i saw were twenty dollars annually things like that you couldn't purchase them but the best thing about this is the free version is probably all we need the free version gives us screen mirroring and that will allow us to mirror our screen to our PC via a USB cable, not needing any wireless connection or internet, cellular, nothing. So USB cable, a device with no cell plan, let's say, and you can screen mirror onto your PC. Okay, so let's scroll back up to the top. We're gonna click the download button, choose Windows, click download again. It'll go into your downloads folder. Once it's downloaded, you'll execute the file and install it. I've already done that. So let's open it up. It works for iOS and Android. We're talking about iOS today. And one thing you've got to do is download the visor app on your Apple phone or your Apple tablet. Um, you need to install this Apple mobile device support driver. So we'll click that link. We'll download the Apple mobile device 64 bit MSI. And once that's downloaded, you'll double click and install that as well. I've already done that too. There is a visor dongle here. The only thing this will do is apparently I haven't done it. Um, if you buy one of these, the appropriate one and install this package, this will allow you to control your Apple device using your mouse. We don't necessarily need that. Screen mirroring is enough. Okay, so how do we hook it up? On our phone, we're gonna download the visor app. We'll open that up and we're gonna plug our phone in to the PC. And on the visor app, we're gonna click this circle at the bottom and what you see on mine is stop broadcast. Yours will say start broadcast. I am recording this video using NDI. So I will stop my broadcast. You will lose this feed for a second. And I will use my visor app to start a new broadcast, which if we jump over to this screen and hit play, the visor broadcast is now running. So here is our screen mirroring app. We can minimize the control window that visor comes with. This would be the window we now use. Up top, we have our settings. If we click on settings, we you can change the window title. So I could do something like call this iPhone. If you notice, its window title by default is iOS device. I would just leave it like that. No need to change it in case it doesn't save. You could set this to always on top. Um, calibrate mouse, we don't use because we don't have a dongle. Image quality. Don't change this while you're using it or it'll kick you out. Um, I just use the default. And then device settings, this is for a stream or something else, we won't use that. So basically save and okay. So really, we're good to go. So now you can see, I can go into my MLM2 Pro app and we are screen mirroring via USB with no internet and I have no cellular connection at all. And it's still working. So we are now screen mirroring using only a cable connection again i'll look at my my wi-fi is off and my cell plan is off the only thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your screen is set to something like always on here there it is cellular is turned off wi-fi is off what do we need to do um you're going to need to set your screen to be like always on or or not sleep while we're playing the course because if it falls asleep the broadcast will stop for the screen mirroring okay so we've got our phone connected to our computer with usb and we have the visor connection working let's take a look at what this looks like if i click on the repsoto app you can see i've already connected directly i have if we zoom in there will that help i have no internet 
so connected no internet and we did that on purpose um if you look i shut the uh internet off here no cellular and i've just got my wi-fi connected if i go back and we zoom back out i can show you if i click on the wi-fi that i am just connected to mlm2 pro with the wi-fi my bluetooth is on but um and you need that to create the wi-fi connection but cellular data is off and the cord is what is doing the screen mirror to my pc okay so let's just go to range mode and we'll do net um high quality home softball continue we'll set a target of 150 i'm not warmed up and we'll just pick a club we'll do start session now we've got the range up all right so we are on the driving range we can pull up some of the data you would need for gs pro let's go back we can turn the camera to stationary turn the grid lines off uh turn the audio off and we'll view alignment really quick looks good start session all right so we're direct connected using cable directly connected to the computer and we're direct wi-fi connected to the mlm2 pro let's hit a couple of shots see how it works and then the theory would be you could take these and the roi straight to gs pro and play with the direct connection and no wireless internet or local network worries let's hit a shot see if it works All right, so there you have it. The only thing left to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you, thank you. We now have a way for Apple devices to connect to your PC with a USB for screen mirroring. This allows us to direct connect to the Rapsodo and direct connect to your PC, eliminating the need for the local network connection when playing things like GS Pro with your MLM2 Pro. Next video will be coming out soon. I'm gonna talk a little bit about local network connection. I did a few changes here and there. Due to some of your guys' comments, thank you for very much. And I think I've got a situation where my local network connection may have improved to the point where I can use it. And I'm going to share those details with you, and hopefully it will help you all out to continue to better your RepSoto MLM2 Pro experience. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.